We've shown you this incredible fall a couple of times. That is Canadian professional skier Ian McIntosh losing his balance on the ridge of a near vertical section of a remote Alaskan mountain. The video capturing every bone jarring moment as McIntosh tumbles 1600 feet, that's about 500, 500 meters, all the way to the bottom. Well, Ian McIntosh is in Boston right now, much uh, safer and more secure than you were at the bottom of that mountain, Ian, and, and take us through that, that incredible fall. But first of all, the moment you were perched atop the hill, the mountain, before anything went wrong, what, what was going through your mind at that point? Well, you know, I mean, for me, for me this line was a pretty standard line. Um, you know, I ski stuff like this all the time. And so I wasn't particularly super nervous or anything. I uh, just dropped in like it was the same old. Uh, but the, the light was really tricky and it played a lot of tricks with my eyes. And I got a little bit off my line, which put me into a five foot trench. And at that point, I lost control and started tumbling. And so obviously we can see it, but we can't imagine what it felt like. What was it like at that moment where you realized, oh, man, I, I've, I'm in trouble here? Well, you know, I equate it to kind of like a big wave surfer getting pounded by a 50-foot wave. It, it, uh, I couldn't breathe, and there was snow all around. It felt like I was in a washing machine, and I just knew I was going for the ride of my life. I knew on a mountain that steep, there's no stopping. I was going to go right to the bottom. And are you in pain as you tumble there? What's the physical sensation? Uh, it, was, it was like, you know, being hit by line backers, I guess is the best way to explain it. Over and over and over again. Exactly. And so you get to the bottom, okay. and, and and do you then start okay. doing the inventory? Like, okay, I can feel my feet. I you know, I, I this is the pain I'm in. How do you how do you assess your injuries at that point? I knew right away that I was good to go. That I was healthy. I was sore, but I knew I'd had no major injuries, and I felt uh, pretty fortunate. So here, there are a few funny things that come out of this. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny, interesting. One is you are, a, you know, a, a, an elite, world-class skier, and yet a lot of us, honestly, haven't heard of you until you fell. I know that's the funniest part about all this is uh, I've been skiing gnarly lines for 10 years as a professional, and much longer than that as an amateur, and uh, I've never had so much media attention as I am getting now for this big crash. And so what do you think all this attention will translate into? Is it, you know, athletes talk about endorsements all the time, uh, uh, you know, maybe your own reality show about falling? What, what's next for you now? I think for me, it's I'm just stoked to bring attention to my sport and, uh, you know, kind of bring a more mainstream media attention to my sport and show everyone what I'm what I'm what I do. Um, I really hope that people check out my skiing and see that uh, I'm not just a guy that crashes. I'm actually a guy that skis huge mountains all over the world. And one last thing, Ian, uh, what, what was the lesson to you of, of what happened here? Because I know you've been thinking about the lessons. Uh, you know, lessons is don't rush. Take your time. Uh, stick to my protocol. My protocol uh, kind of got rushed at that day. I was getting rushed by light. And, you know, it, it's just a huge learning lesson to avoid letting the temptation of something like this get the best of me in the future and just continue to work on being safe. When's the next time you go skiing? Uh, hopefully this weekend when Whistler Black Home opens, I'll be home. All right, Ian McIntosh, thank you so much. Thank you.